Hey guys, uh, this is the second part of, well not second part, but second uh, diamond design that I'm going to be making. Uh, the video before this, if you follow the link, um, it was a 146 little one. This is going to be a 216 balls, bigger one, but it's not going to be uh, solid in the middle, it's going to be hollow. Um, so what we're going to do is, we're, it's basic shapes. It's uh, easier shape, I wouldn't call it advanced but what you'll do is you'll take your string of 216, fold them out um, you're gonna make all the triangles out of 216 bucky balls and in order to make a triangle you're gonna count out nine balls so three, six, nine fold it into a circle you probably already know how to do this, it's pretty straightforward and then pinch the corners together like that, and there's your triangle. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many triangles you make, I don't really feel like doing the math, but uh, make as many as you possibly can of triangles out of your 216 bucky balls. Um, I'll be doing that too, so you don't have to pause the video. I'll go ahead and do that with you. Try to go a little faster. So, I'm not wasting your guys' precious time on YouTube. Uh, somebody did comment on my channel and asked me to make a Hell's Hell's Diamond out of Buckyballs. Um, as most of you know, I only have uh, 216 balls. I recently just went online and ordered 216 Zen Magnets. Yeah, I know, I'm a Buckyballs guy too. But uh, I've heard a lot about Zen Magnets and Buckyballs and going on the sites themselves. Uh, Buckyballs definitely gets their ad out more and when I look at theirs website and all that and I, I hear more about them than I do Zen Magnets and when you go on the Buckyball site it's all you can get cubes and colors and all these different kinds of them and it, their site's set up pretty nice so uh, it wants me to get them to buy those uh, which I did I've had these for a year and some are definitely starting to tear. Um, I think I have one or two that actually have no skin on them at all. They don't have that shiny metal coating. They're just black from the core that's underneath. Which is okay, they still work, but I mean... Uh, I heard that Zen magnets last a lot longer. Uh, they are stronger magnets in general and I guess people prefer those so I thought I'd go ahead and order a set of those and have a set of bucky balls and um, when I get them in the mail, which should be any day now I'll do a review for both of them <coughs> and uh, I'll be the judge to see who bucky balls or zen man asks which one's better Okay, I'm almost done with my triangles here. Uh, my camera's only got like two minutes remaining on it, so it's probably gonna die. And that's not good. No, I'm trying to speed it up here. All right, once you got all your however many triangles, I think it's 20, 20 something. But I'm not in a count, so. There, you got all your triangles built. Or, kind of do. I have two left. One left. And none left. Okay, now what you're going to do. Is you're going to take four of them. And connect them to each other. So, that's two, three, four. And you're going to make six of these so you can put those aside. So that's two, three. See, if they push away like this, you just flip it over and they'll connect, right? So two, three, and four. Come on. 
These ones are pushing away, that's why. Two, three, four, two, three, four, and my last one. So you're going to have six of these little Pac-Many things. And what you're going to do is just fold them up so they're touching. And you're going to make six of these cones now. Sorry that I'm going so fast, but i got like one minute left till my camera dies. So. Alright, now you got six of these cones. Like that. Um, you're going to take two and touch the four together. So just take two, touch them together. Um, take a, one more, attach them to either of the sides, and when you get three looking like this, uh, you just fold them up and touch all three like this, and that's what it'll look like. And you're going to take one more, and you're going to put it in between the crack of these two, so like this. And then all you, as you can see, your shape's already starting to form. So you can go ahead, put one more there. And this last one's usually tricky, it might push away, so you might have to flip it over. And there you go. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of a diamondy thing. Just a bigger version of the one I made before this. Alright, comment, rate, subscribe. Sorry guys, my camera's gonna die. Take care.